I didn't expect Link to come in today. Well, 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 this is bad. I didn't expect this at all. I mean, I didn't even expect you to send me a letter. Well, let's, let's see. This is what this is about. Do open this up. Dear Jeff Buckland, on the behalf of the YouTube community, we are sad to say that Alvin and the Chipmunks Chipwrecked earned the most votes against Max Keeble's Big Move and the Road Warrior. So you shall listen to the YouTube community interview Alvin and the Chipmunks Chipwrecked. So have fun and love the YouTube community. P.S. And the Illuminati were here. Are you serious now? I have to review Chipmunks? No! Also, pretty good artwork on, on, on this envelope, I will admit. Jeff Buckland requests. You guys request movies that Jeff may possibly review. The most requested film. Alvin and the Chipmunks Chipwrecked. Wait, this can't be good for Jeff at all. Hey guys, Jeff Buckland here. Even though that opening was a little long, I just wanted to get the joke out of the way. But anyway, let's review this stinker. Alvin and the Chipmunks Chipwrecked is the third movie in this unnecessary series of movies. And I thought to myself, this isn't going to be a traditional review. Instead, I'm going to talk about what this film got wrong, okay? But first, let's talk about the plot, if you will. The film's plot is this. Dave decides to take the Chipmunks and Chipettes on a little crew on a cruise ship for a little vacation. On the cruise ship, Alvin deciding to be Alvin, and what that means is that he gets all the Chipmunks and Chipettes in trouble. And while they're having trouble, Alvin, being Alvin again, gets all of his... Gets all the chipmunks and chipettes off the ship due to a flying kite. And now they're all trapped on a, rem a desert island. Now they have to try to get off the island safely while trying to find Dave in the process. Now, I remember watching this movie when I was young, and I, when I first watched it, I thought it was okay. But that was just thinking in my head. As I got older, thinking about it more and more makes me despise the film every time I decide to think about it. Well, let's talk about why this film is so bad, and or in this case, why it why it does things wrong. Let's let's talk well in reason form, if you will. Let's do this thing. Number one, suckered in celebrities. What I mean by this is that in each one of these chipmunk movies, they always have a group of celebrities, no matter where they are or in the main character slot, they are always going to be there. Um, and also, the group of celebrities I'm about to mention here are also the same group of celebrities in the second film as well. So anyway, the group of celebrities in here are... Jason Lee, David Cross, Justin Long, Anna Faris, Christina Applegate, and Amy Poehler. Just because you have big name celebrities doesn't mean you have to make them go to waste. With these celebrities, I've seen movies with these celebrities that have all that have been really good and also have had a lot of other big names like Anchorman, Kung Fu Panda, Inside Out, and The Incredibles. Shipwrecked is basically um, paid, the director waving paychecks and the celebrities and forcing them to take them. And let's get to the next point as well. Number two, this scene I'm about to tell you about. There's a scene in this movie where I where I swear this this I'm not making this up. What happens is the chipmunks and chipats come across one of the survivors on the island that's not Dave or Ian, and they basically sing Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. And this scene is so messed up, it earns my first ever WTF award. It, it's a scene in a movie that's so messed up and it's not explained. It's so, so stupid. Now let's get to the next point of the why this movie's bad. Number three, bad as a family film. What's any goal for a family film to be good? Not only to entertain the children, but also to entertain the adults, so both, all, both members of the family can enjoy the film. Shipwrecked is good at entertaining young children, but is also really good for leaving adults with, with, with huge headaches after listening to the auto-tune of these irritating chipmunks. Now I'm going to talk about my fourth and final point in this video because I don't want this video to go so long, and that is... Number four, terrible as a survival film. In any good survival film, you want to root for the characters, you want to feel the how dangerous the environment can be, and you want them to survive safely. Take, for example, 
to good survival films like Castle, which has our main character Wa having a long walk on the island and getting knocked out on the island, and is also a great film. Or The Martian, which I reviewed last week, which has our main character getting knocked out on Mars and having him drive on, have a long drive on the island and trying to figure stuff out on his own. Shipwrecked, on the other hand, has our characters ch having a chase over a mango and them doing other fun stuff on the island, which totally breaks the rules of survival films. If I can say only one good thing about this movie is that it's the shortest of these chipmunk movies, but it still feels being like being locked in a prison cell, which I'd rather be doing than watching this movie at all. But still, at the end of the day, just don't watch Chipwrecked. It's a really bad movie that'll just leave a really bad taste in your mouth, and I really don't recommend it at all. But this time, for the rating, I'll give it, this time I'm going to be giving it a word rating this time, and a 1 to 10 rating as well. So here's my rating of Chipwrecked. Alvin and the Chipmunks Chipwrecked absolutely gets a 1 out of 10 with the title of Garbage That Shouldn't Be Viewed. <laughs> Finally, I'm done reviewing this movie. Now if anyone asks me, Jeff, are you planning on reviewing any other Chipmunk movies? Well, no. I'm not planning on reviewing any more. But, if you guys really want to know when is the next um, deadline for voting, well, stay tuned until the end of the video, okay? I'm Jeff Buckland, thanks for watching my review for Alvin and the Chipmunks Chipwrecked, and I need to go find something better to watch. Thanks for watching, guys. on February 19th, but anyway, thanks for watching.